For years, Ayman al-Zawahiri was Osama bin Laden's right-hand man, succeeding him as leader of al-Qaeda after he was killed by the US in 2011. But now al-Zawahiri has also been killed by America in a drone strike on this neighborhood in the Afghan capital of Kabul. US President Joe Biden saying that intelligence officials had tracked him to a home where he was hiding out with his family and after six months of preparation, the strike was authorized last week and carried out on Sunday. Afterwards, a ground team confirmed his death and that no one else was killed in the attack. Biden, who remains in isolation due to COVID, last night spoke from a White House balcony, describing the mission as a success. Justice has been delivered, and this terrorist leader is no more. People around the world no longer need to fear the vicious and determined killer. We make it clear again tonight that no matter how long it takes, no matter where you hide, if you are a threat to our people, the United States will find you and take you out. 71-year-old Al Zawahiri had a $25 million bounty on his head. An Egyptian surgeon, he worked with bin Laden to plan terrorist attacks, including September the 11th. With his tactics and organizational skills thought to be crucial in developing a network of cells around the world. The US invasion of Afghanistan in 2001 and subsequent 20-year war splintered Al-Qaeda, but Al Zawahiri rebuilt in the Afghan-Pakistan border region. He also became the movement's public face, putting out a constant stream of video messages while bin Laden Laden largely hid. The US exit from Afghanistan last September gave the group the opportunity to rebuild. With fears growing, it still aspired to attack America. His death has delivered a significant counter-terrorism win just 11 months later, with experts saying it's likely to lead to greater disarray within al-Qaeda than bin Laden's death, as it's less clear who his successor will be. Nicole Gernon, Virgin Media News.